Welcome to the kitchen. I'm Charmaine and we're going to be doing a wonderful dessert. We're going to be using a superfood, cacao. This is a favorite among everybody and I'm going to make a creamy cacao pie with a date pecan base. Now I chose pecans because I'm in Georgia and pecans are very, very local to us. Also, they're, they're not as acidic as some other nuts. So we're gonna start with taking my pecan meal. I find that the pecan meal is real reasonable in price and it gets me almost all the way there. I have soaked some of my dates. This is gonna add my sweetness and the goo to the crust. So I'm gonna put some dates in. How many? Oh, I don't know. Just as many as you want. I'm gonna put that many in. And then I always use Himalayan salt because that brings up the sweetness. So there we go. I don't know if I'm going to use any stevia, but if I did, I have chocolate stevia with me today. So that allows the flavor to even be stronger. So let's go ahead and get the crust going. This is real easy. Oh, let's plug it in. And I'm going to add to that some coconut oil. Coconut oil is kind of like the cement that when this dessert gets nice and cool, it keeps that crust firm. So what I'm looking for is it to start bonding. There we go. See how it's getting nice and chunky? Ah, there we go. Let's see what that looks like. So here it goes. See how it's looking? That's almost what we want. So let me go ahead and see if it's got enough salt in it. Yep, pretty good. I just want it a little bit more workable. I'm sure that's fine. Okay, we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do now is put it in a pan. We always prefer glass. Do not get caught up with Teflon or aluminum or some of the other choices that are not our favorite. Just press it down. You can take up the bottom of a cup to do this or you can just go at it. Get your children involved. This could be way fun. Okay, let me get a little bit more. I do not want this crust to be very thick because I find that it gets a little overwhelming if it's too thick and we're going to put a very, very decadent um, chocolate mousse on here so that will make it very rich. This is going to go into the freezer while I make the pudding. Okay, so I've just put our date pecan crust in the freezer to get it nice and cool and to set it. So now I'm going to make the filling. Now this is going to be a wonderful avocado cacao mousse. I've got my nice green bag here. Sometimes your avocados they tend to get ripe too fast or not ripe fast enough. In this case, I didn't want them to go overboard. But now if I was gonna try to ripen up an avocado, I would put him with an apple or a banana and those two coupled together, they would actually, one would ripen the other. So I have my avocados here. How many would I use? Well, it depends on how creamy you want your pie. I like to use a lot of avocado, so I'm probably gonna use about four. Now, when I'm doing my avocados, I'm always slicing them this way, twisting them, taking out the pit. Putting it in the compost, gotta always have the compost. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just scoop out the meat, and then do this for four avocados. This will take just a minute. Then I'm gonna take just the cream from my coconut milk. My coconut milk, if I do not shake that can up, the cream will come to the top just like the cream of milk, of, of cow's milk. So I'm gonna scrape off that cream and put it in, and then I'm gonna take the rest of it and put it in a jar, whoops. to save for my smoothies in the morning. So 
So let me put a couple more avocados in. Then I'm going to put my cacao powder. Cacao is an antioxidant. It is um, a superfood. It is delicious, and I always use raw cacao. Um, I choose raw cacao because there is no reason to ever have heat applied to any of our food. We know that we have to be very selective when we're shopping for our food that we do not get tricked or that we don't misunderstand how that works. If you have a chocolate bar, even if it says it's 99% cacao, to make it a bar, it had to be heated. So definitely get, you can get your own cacao beans and grind them, or you can get nibs and grind them, whatever you'd like to do, but definitely go the extra mile and get the raw cacao. Okay, there we go, we got that. Now I'm taking just the cream, see that? How nice that is? You can use this cream in all kinds of things, in your chai tea, and then the rest I transfer oops, to, to a jar because it is a lot more liquid and it's good, but this is what light coconut milk is looking like. So that's why you do not want to buy light because you're just getting what's left after somebody took that yummy, yummy cream off and used it in their cooking. Okay, so there's my cream. I'm going to put, oh, I don't know, about a cup of raw cacao in there. I'm going to put, oh, I don't know, maybe like three squirts, maybe four squirts. I don't know. How sweet do we want to be today? There we go. Four squirts of chocolate stevia. Really have fun with the flavors of stevia. Chocolate raspberry, peppermint, lemon, English toffee. A lot of our recipes that we'll be doing in the future, we're going to be using all those different stevia flavors so that you can enjoy stevia. Remember, stevia heals the body. The side effect is that it's sweet. I also have peppermint here. Now, if I wanted to make this a peppermint chocolate pie, I would just, at this point, put peppermint. But I'm going to want it to be a little smooth, so I'm going to put some nice Madagascar vanilla in here. I usually use a raw vanilla but this one is very tasty. So here we go. Now, this could get crazy. Oh, forgot my volcanic salt because that brings up the sweetness. Ready to go? Okay, so I got grandma's mixer. Got it at a garage sale for $5. A nice glass bowl came with two other glass bowls. Keep your eyes peeled. These gems are everywhere. They're at Goodwill. These things work great. Watch this. Now, I'm not going to do the same thing I did in my kitchen where it accidentally got away from me and we had chocolate all over the kitchen, but that was a delicious cleanup. Here we go. Oh, it's going to get messy. But you can see that avocado is so creamy. Here we go. Thank you, Grandma. So you're just moving it around, you're getting air in there. Going to add some more moisture to it. Okay, so I have got it all beaten. I have a lot of air in there. I have to tell you, I tasted it and I think it needs to be a little bit sweeter. So I'm going to go ahead and give it two more squirts of stevia. You guys, it's okay to be really, really um, generous with the stevia. It's very healing to the body. This is not about sugar. This is about um, a wonderful, wonderful product that we need to use, incorporate more often. So here is my inside of my chocolate pie. This is chocolate avocado. Everybody's gonna be shocked about the avocado being in there. I love avocado. So I can taste the avocado because I know it's creamy. Other people, they never can figure that out. So I'm going to go ahead and get my crust out of the refrigerator, and then we're going to assemble it, put it back in the refrigerator for about an hour, ready to be served. This is called a living cacao pie. Okay, 
So all I'm going to do, this is real easy, I'm just going to take my avocado cacao filling and just fill up my date pecan crust. Nothing has been cooked. Everything is full enzymes, totally living, way yummy. You will just dazzle all your guests. If you take this to a party, they will never forget this. Now you could put some coconut flakes on here if you wanted to make it look really fancy. I just like it the way it is though, because it's so amazing. Okay, there we go. That's it. Now I'm gonna get it really, really firm and then cut it up into squares and serve it and then just enjoy the compliments. Mm -hmm.